Let me start by saying that um, the omega-3 index is the most important number of that test. And we want to have it above like 5.3 or 5. We want to certainly have it above 5. Most individuals don't make enough EPA and DHA. Taking okay. in more flaxseed or flaxseed oil or chia seeds, taking in more, a, that's ALA, alpha-linal acid. It still doesn't convert into EPA okay. and DHA. The Achilles heel of a plant-based diet or a diet without fish is the fact that brain shrinkage with aging can occur with people with low, with low DHA levels proportional to the level of the omega-3 index texts which has been corroborated in multiple studies. There are more than 10 separate studies showing that lower levels are associated with brain shrinkage and cognitive impairment. So we're really striving to have everybody have a level above five. And they do that by using a vegan form of EPA and DHA. I sell one on the website in a little black, in a little dark blue bottle. And the reason we sell it or started selling it about 15 years ago or 10 years ago was because most of the brands that were available in the marketplace tasted bitter or had rancidity scores when we tested them. So even though there's a monopoly and only one company in the United States makes vegan omega-3 oil and they sell it to all these different supplement manufacturers. So when you buy somebody else's brand, you're getting the same source of where I get mine from. It's all the same source stuff. But the difference is we ask for ours to be packed in glass and sent to us under refrigeration and we keep it in our warehouse under refrigeration. So when we ship it out to people, they get a fresher product. Okay. It takes three months of taking, at least three months of taking of the product for the omega-3 index level to reflect that dose you were taking. So once you're taking a standard dose, which is a dropper of, the, of my, let's say my OPA DHA, then four months after that, you can draw the omega-3 index to ascertain whether that one dropper or whatever dose you were taking was the right amount for you. Because we all need different amounts. It's Some people don't need any, but that's relatively rare. Most people not supplementing with DHA and EPA on a plant-based diet find their levels below five. When you're overweight, it makes it higher to get your omega-3 index up from the extra omega-6 fats on your body. Because the ratio of how much omega-3 as a percent of the total fat on the cell membrane. And lowering the fat on the cell membrane, dropping the omega-6 lower by losing weight will help the omega-3% be a higher index number. So we take more DHA and lose more weight, and let's get that omega-6 um, number above five. If you can get a product who was with a manufacturing date was relatively recent, don't pick one that has a manufacturing date that's six months or more old because you want then keep it in the refrigerator when you get it. The EPA and DHA is made from algae. It is a form of algae oil. The, it's high DHA and EPA algae oil that they make it. So it's not just buying any algae oil. You have to read on the bottle you're buying or the packaging you're buying how much EPA and DHA you're getting per dose. You're striving for, you know, 100 to 200 milligrams, like 150 to 200 per dose per day. If your local doctors will not do the omega-3 index test for you, then people can order the card on our website, which we ship mail it to you. And it's a finger stick, which you put your blood on it with a you stick, your finger, you put your blood on the card and you ship the blood to the lab. And then we give you the, we get you the results. And I'm not suggesting people run and get their levels drawn. Start out with, I'm recommending they take the supplement for at least three or four months and then get their levels drawn. Because they let their levels drawn when they're not taking the supplement, it's going to be very, it's going to be too low. We want it. And we also have recent studies that show that the low levels are associated with shorter lifespans in general. It's better for your longevity, for cancer protection and, and, and just, um, It'll prevent inflammation in general and slow aging. It's better to have that omega-3 index between 5.5 and 8 is the sweet spot we're shooting for.